Main articles. Thrawn campaign. Pre-Shadow Hand campaign The Galactic Empire by A. Tabby. Remained continuing to lose ground until the return of Grand Admiral Thrawn a military genius, the only non-human to climb the ranks of the Imperial Navy, and the last remaining Grand Admiral. Thrawn's campaign recaptured nearly half of the galaxy in the name of the Empire. However, it came to a sudden end when Thrawn was assassinated by his own bodyguard. Captain Pelion, Thrawn's second-in-command, knew that he could not continue Thrawn's inspired campaign and ordered a retreat. The New Republic immediately took advantage of the Imperial power vacuum and moved to cut off future Imperial threats in the form of the remaining warlords. Using the pretext of pursuing Imperials who had committed various crimes the New Republic began their push against Prince Admiral Delic Krenel. Despite Krenel's new ally in a clone of Asan Izzard and the real Izzard's machinations to steal back her superstar destroyer the Republic emerged victorious and began pressing their advantage even more, leaving the core worlds with minimal protection. In Ten Abbey, the surviving members of the Imperial Ruling Council, under Arstanga's leadership, gathered several belligerent Imperial warlords to organize a military campaign into the Galactic Corps. The warlords were emboldened by the late Grand Admiral Thrawn's triumphs and accomplishments against the New Republic, which was still recovering from the devastating Thrawn campaign. The New Republic was powerless to repel the military might of the Dark Empire, which swiftly conquered much of the economically, politically and strategically vital core worlds within weeks. Chandrilla, Acels, Raltier, as well as the Metalos and Kaikelius systems, were seized by the Empire, while Caprioral was besieged by the Imperial Navy and the Borderland regions were devastated. The offensive culminated in the decisive Second Battle of Coruscant, in which the New Republic abandoned the planet and the Empire retook the galactic capital. Having assumed total control over the Core Worlds, the Empire had been restored to its former glory while the New Republic leadership relocated its headquarters to the Outer Rim territories. After Coruscant had been retaken, the Imperial Ruling Council invited important political and military leaders to the Senate building to elect the next Galactic Emperor and re-establish the disbanded Imperial Senate. However, the Moffs, Grand Moffs, Army, Navy, COMPNOR, Intelligence, Security Bureau and Inquisitorius, as well as various governors, noblemen and bureaucrats, craved absolute power over the imperial state. The empire plunged into anarchy and chaos. The Imperial Intelligence and Security Bureau orchestrated the assassinations of their political enemies, while COMPNOR purists attempted to take control of the regime in order to prevent any changes to the new order. Soon, an armed conflict broke out amongst the various political and military factions, each trying to dominate the empire. The disarrayed imperial military was responsible for committing atrocities, massacring civilians and destroying entire worlds. Above Coruscant, the orbit became littered with space debris and the star destroyers conducted orbital bombardments, transforming the surface of the planet into a decaying urban wasteland. On the surface, stormtroopers, walkers and tanks fought on the streets of the planet-wide Ecumenopolis. Much of the galactic capital was laid to waste, and millions of native Coruscanti perished during the Imperial infighting. The New Republic took advantage of the chaos, performing raids on Imperial territories through the use of captured Imperial vessels. The Civil War ended only several months following the retaking of Coruscant.